معرفة بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now let us discuss about financial screening Okay Now what are the different parameters with reference to financial screening the first is impure income the second is for example total debt in relation to total assets or average market cap third is cash plus sometimes interest bearing securities in relation to again total assets or average market cap and the fourth is account receivables in relation to again total assets or average market cap Now let us discuss about impure income. Now this is the first financial screening which we will discuss. Let us understand this through a simple example. For example, if there's a company and the company, for example, has certain excess liquidity of uh, $10 million. Okay. And this $10 million, for example, if the company places with a bank on the terms of interest meaning to say if the company is receiving certain interest as its income so this is the interest which the company is receiving because of this placement Now this placement could be because of many reasons. One is maybe because there are no Sharia compliant avenues available for this company to place its excess liquidity. And hence that is one of the main reasons why this company is placing its excess liquidity with a conventional bank to earn certain interest. At the same time, uh, let us take another example of an impure income. Let us consider that this company is involved in the business of, uh, of a supermarket. And in their supermarket, suppose they also sell alcohol. And again, because of the sale of alcohol, there would be an income which would be coming to the company. 
because therefore what we understand is that as interest is a prohibited activity either giving interest or taking interest is a prohibited activity in Islam alcohol consumption either consuming or selling of alcohol is prohibited activity in Islam so now both these activities are not allowed by Sharia and this company is involved in such activity but what we understand is that the core nature or the core business of the company is not non Sharia compliant meaning to say for example this company is in the business of running a supermarket and not just selling alcohol so alcohol is just a portion of what all they sell it is not the main selling commodity uh, of the company and this company is not in the business of uh, placing funds with conventional institutions but it has placed it only its excess liquidity to earn certain interest income now the question is if this is an Islamic fund can this Islamic fund invest the liquidity of its investors in such a company the answer to this question is that the Islamic fund can invest its liquidity into such a company provided the total impure income of the company so what we say is that the impure income has to be less than 5% of the total income of the company what does it mean it means that for example if the total impure income of the company is 4 million dollars and the total income of the company for example is 96 million dollars so what we see is that that the impure income of the company is less than 5% of the total income of the company only in such a situation in such a scenario it will be allowed for the Islamic fund to invest in a company but if this is more than 5% the impure income then the Islamic fund will not be allowed to invest in such a company so this is the screening uh, mechanism with reference to financial screening and under financial screening specifically with reference to impure income